English conversational classes. I'm Latika, English language and corporate faculty in IT College Dehradun. And today we are going to talk about pronunciation, which is quite an important part of English, uh, spoken English language. Now, how to sound like a native English speaker? We should always take care of our pronunciation. In order to take care of our pronunciation, we should know which syllable to stress in a word. Now, for those who do not know what a syllable is, it is the smallest unit of sound in English language, in word. Now, there are certain rules where to stress and what syllable to stress. Now, let's see here. Any word that ends with graphy, for example, geography. So, I am here stressing on the syllable just before graphy. So, graphy becomes graphy and geography. Here, photography. So here there are two syllables, but I am stressing the one which is just before graphy. Biography. Similarly, any word that ends with logi. Logi becomes logi and we are again going to stress on the syllable which is before logi. Biology. Sociology. Now here again there are two syllables and I am stressing here just before logi. So, sociology. Psychology. Now, similarly, any word that ends with shun sound, again, we stress the syllable just before the shun sound. Here, destination, formation, production. Now, there are seven words uh, in English language, like any word that begins with letter W. For example, waiter, water, watch. Now, while I am speaking, when I use any word that begins with W sound, I will always round my lips and then say the word. In order to differentiate it from any letter that begins with V sound. Now, for example, any letter that begins with V sound, victory, vinegar, wine, voice. So, uh, any letter that begins with V sound, I am going to bite my lower lips. I hope these tips are helpful for you in pronouncing the words correctly in your day-to-day -day English conversation. Thank you.